The year is 530 AD and Belisarius is leading a force of Byzantines deep into the east against the Sassanid Empire here to conquer Dara and bring it back under imperial control. What's up guys and welcome back. We're here with another glorious historical battle for you today and today we have the Battle of Dara which actually is not it's more of a Belisarius is coming to the aid of Dara than really conquering it. Um, Dara is a city in the east of uh, east of the Roman Empire and it's uh, I think quite it's like right in the desert I, I believe it's like a desert fort uh, that like the um, Romans held and the assassins were trying to uh, take it for themselves and bring it into their sphere of influence while the Romans obviously wanted to keep it for themselves and it was in fact a very famous uh, uh, Byzantine or Roman there's still Romans at this point at heart and they always were until they died off um, Roman victory and uh, yeah, it was uh, a, a victory of about 25,000 Romans taking on about 50,000 Persians. And they absolutely annihilated the uh, the Persians. Mainly because they had a lot of trenches and like uh, defenses that could help um, help sort of secure their flanks against the superior uh, Persian cavs. So we'll see whether um, they can do that again here today. I don't think we can form any, make any trenches. That would be a very cool ability if we could do that in total war. But um, yes, we should see some uh, huge cav fights for sure. As we can see a lot of horse archers and uh, heavy cav starting to form up on this flank here to face off against the, the Roman cavalry as well, which is also quite large and significant at this point. We've got Clipinari, um, uh, Magister Militum here as well. And we've got some other shock cav as well being uh, thrown in. But this is um, the um, this is the uh, age of Justinian uh, sub mod or mod I should say, um, which is uh, obviously set in the sixth century rather than sort of like the the fourth fourth and fifth century like the uh, vanilla campaign is. So yeah, it's certainly uh, a little bit later on. So you're going to see very different units to what you see in like vanilla Attila, but uh, it's sort of very very fun so, uh, mod. If you haven't checked it out, I definitely recommend you do. It's got its own campaign. Um, I believe, and it's obviously got a load of new factions and units as well. And it's a really fun uh, fun little uh, mod as well, it really is. Um, but yes, this is a, a battle that we did on the uh, Discord server, so if you haven't checked out uh, that and you would like to join and get involved in some battles, then feel free to uh, join the links down below in the description and get involved in some historical battles, whether it's things like this or any other sort of total war battle, you're more than welcome to join and get involved. But yeah, this is a fun 3v3 that we did on the uh, on the server. And yeah, the units in this are massive. Like, the 300-man units are infantry. So we have, like, 14,000 troops on either side. It is a huge, huge battle. Um, but yeah, it should be a fun one, that is for sure. Starting off very historical, both sides are, uh, are basically just skirmishing each other. This is what happened in history. Um... But yeah, it's starting off very much how it's uh, how it started, and uh, yeah, it looks like it's going to be um, just basically everyone use their ammunition up, and then we'll go in and fight. And there's a lot of ammo to get through. There's a lot of horse archers back here that need to uh, use up all their ammunition. We've got a Hephalite horse archers back here, a Furzan, which is a decent shock cab. I think the um, the um, Persians do have slightly more cab, but not too much more. Like by this point, the Byzantines and the Romans do have plenty of. Uh, cavalry in their own armies like they know the import they've seen the importance of cav and it's like a much more important part of their uh, their armies i mean their infantry is also still pretty solid but gone are the days of uh, legionaries we're now gone to like scooter toy and uh like lots of sort of more like allied infantry uh being relied upon as well like huns and um uh and gepids and various things like that G a lot of germanic uh peoples were fighting in their armies at this point so uh yeah, it should be an interesting one, that is for sure. I'm really looking forward to seeing how this one goes down. And if you're a fan of uh, Age of Justinian and just a fan of just Total War historical battles, feel free to uh, join, um, to leave a like, subscribe. We're working towards 10k subs. It's uh, very, very close now. And just, yeah, can't thank you guys enough for all of the uh, uh, all the support over the years. It's been very much appreciated. As you can see, the skirmishing is going on pretty intense on this flank here. But yes, we'll see how uh, we'll see how this goes down. It looks like yeah, the skirmishing is not doing much when it comes to uh, like taking out these Roman infantry. We've got some axes here, Numenes Isaurium. I think most units here today are all tier two. Whether because uh, we weren't quite sure whether it was to do a quality or era with like uh, Age of Justinian, but I'm guessing um, I don't know. It might be more just down to like sort of like. Quality, uh, quality than it is era. Um, but yes, we do have mostly like tier two stuff here today to try and 
balance it out. It looks fairly balanced in the balance of power, so it should be interesting to see how this one goes down. And lots of like the shock cav here also uh, have like missile capabilities. Kind of a cool like thing. But uh, yeah, so it's good to see that like both Rome and Persia can challenge each other in this sort of like capacity. Certainly makes it a bit more interesting. Like Persia can't just shoot Rome and just expect not to get shot back. They will get shot back themselves. Like, they've got these Excel Lacho here that are all just shooting um, freely at units. I mean, the slingers over here probably do some decent damage as well. These Armenian slingers are pretty dangerous. If I remember, if they're anything like the vanilla ones, they're actually pretty good. Um, but yeah, they're, they're nearly out of ammo though at this point. They have been firing away at something. They've done no damage to this cab though, which is coming forward now. Look at this. The cab's coming in. Trying, I think he's trying to bait the Persians into a fight. I think neither side really wants to be the one to be the aggressor in the cab fight. Both have got a lot to lose if they uh, were to lose the cab fight, that's for sure. Over on this side, yeah, not a lot going on really at all either. Um, both sides just kind of sitting here patiently. We've got the Quinta Macedonica here, which is a cool uh, student. Look at that. I kind of like that. I think the Macedonica is one of the, is the, uh, the fifth Macedonica, is the final legion as well. So Quinta, five, Macedonica. I think this might be supposedly the last legion uh, of Rome. These guys here, the Quinta Macedonica. Very cool. Got some Lanciari Signores, which are a bit more like elite uh, spear infantry. And uh, yeah, they are very, very good as well. They should do some decent damage. Um, we do have Belisarius here. He is the uh, Magister Militum all the way over here. He is, uh, that is Belisarius. That's supposed to represent him here today. Um, the general of um, Persia at the time, I don't think it was their, um, their king. I don't think it was. I think it was just a, a commander. Yeah, it's just a guy called Perozes. Um, so I guess that could be any of the Persian commanders, really. Uh, to be honest, I think they all have a, a, a Mars ban here as their as their general. So it could be any of them. But yeah, Perozes, I think ends up. Uh, I think he ends up getting killed after this battle. Um, like not during it, but like after he like gets uh, executed or something for like his failure or something like that. It's kind of. Uh, it's a, not, no surprise though, losing to Belisarius. He was kind of one of the best generals of his time. As you see later on when he goes against the Goths. Looks like we might be about to see some sort of action here. We're seeing a lot of Dalamite Axemen now moving forward. These guys also have missile capability. So yeah, the Romans also are going to have to face missile like missiles before they go into melee with their uh, infantry. Rome obviously known for centuries having javis with their infantry. Uh, with like their melee infantry before uh, going into into combat, but yeah, and also the Dalamite Axemen have those as well. Uh, the units to watch out for, really, especially with the um, with the Persians of these units back here, the Gund uh, Gund E Shahan Shah. I think that's how you say it. They are really good. A really really good sword unit. They are going to do a lot of damage. They're heavy melee infantry, and yeah, they do a lot of damage. Um, but yeah. I am playing in this one. I'm playing as one of the Roman armies. And uh, yeah, it's just from another player's perspective because my version of the replay kept crashing. But uh, yeah, it's certainly a, a fun battle. And it's a, uh, nice to check out like another mod that we don't often check out and uh, do some sort of different scenarios. We've got some decent uh, archers here. The Kamadar and Kurdan. I presume they're like Kurdish archers. But they got like a shield on their backs. So they're almost like a pavis almost. And they're, um, but I imagine it's because they have that shield on the back, probably because they're probably decent in melee. Yeah, they are retreating now. I guess they've just done a, had a few volleys. I think they're trying to weaken the cav, which is back here. We've got some um, Clividari, which are back here. And they're like a shock cav, but like a melee cav. Well, they've got a, a lance, but they also look like they're melee cav. Um, but yeah, it looks like it's all starting to take off over here. And the first clash of infantry is underway. We've got the uh, Numeres Isorium here. Fighting against uh, Armenian spears. They're losing of the axes. They are trying to throw their jabbies as quickly as possible. Looks like, yeah, more Javis have uh, been thrown in. Now they're going to send in the axes right by the red line. The red, the mysterious red line, which means if you break, you go straight off it. Funny to think, imagine if there's one of those in, like, in reality. It's like, oh, we can't fight any further than this. There's a mysterious red line stopping us. 
Yeah, the axe is going in here. The Armenian infantry in uh, the sort of like shield wall should hold for a little while, I imagine. With some swords here, some Spathathoi moving forwards. These are more like the uh, typical sort of like Roman infantry, I guess, at the time with their long Spartha sword here that they've got replaced the Gladius. They're getting ready to go in now. Yeah, axes are losing here. I do not know why. I would have thought axes on a charge would do pretty decent against uh, against spears, but maybe not. Maybe the spears and their shield wall are actually, you know, doing a decent job. Lanciari Senores here. They're holding the line. I think it's against those, uh, I don't know, it's against Dalamites. Yeah, it should be these guys. I would have thought, yeah, Lanciari Senores are basically like, almost like Imperial Guard, but I don't think they are quite Imperial Guard. Yeah, it looks like they're going in. Um, Cav, I guess now, yeah, they're like, the Cav fight that potentially could have happened is kind of like over. It's kind of like, uh, like, um, but yeah, I mean, it's, 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 it's not, uh, not going to happen now. The Cav fight, they're like, both sides just sitting behind their infantry line, just waiting for something to happen. There's nothing's going to happen. Roma on this side has been quite aggressive moving forward. Taking on the Persians, the yeah, axe is here going to lead the lead the way. Force back the cab. It looks like yeah, the axe is going to go in. Going to try maybe make a push here. There are swords. These um, nasty elite swords are coming forward to um, face the axes. So this is going to be a pretty good test. For the Roman axes here it might be a one too many <laughs> like uh, axes for all the swords to deal with but we'll see it's like a 4v2 who knows maybe they can overwhelm them the yeah, purge going in dealing with these axes is a little bit laggy but I have a feeling that's just because of the numbers of uh, infantry we have on this battlefield that is a huge huge battle They are going in, and you can see the spear line as well moving forward here. That's just trying to shift forward, Enemy trying to do some work. Looks like the, uh, the Romans and the Persians both losing some units here. Horse arch has been routed, also axes, but it looks like neither line on this left hand side has uh, crumpled just yet. It's a solid line, it really is. I mean, you kind of, kind of just like look like down the line here and just see like, look at the blobs of infantry being formed up here. What happens when you have 300 man units? The Armenian spears seem unfazed. They've lost like 60 men, but yeah. Axes, yeah, having a real tough time to kill them. Surprised. Really am. Yeah, you can see here, look at this. The Romans really pushing on now. I've actually found a gap in the line trying to get their uh, axes in behind the uh, slingers. Our pugs are merciless volleys into them. They are in behind, are these axemen. Trying to do what damage they can. I think they're actually going to fall back because the volley is just, yeah, the volleys, they've lost half their unit to a slinger fire. Alamites going in, trying to deal with these uh, Quinta Macedonica. A famous fifth legion holding the line. Can they do it? Can they hold the line for Rome, for the empire? Look at this, you can see Persians now trying to flank on with their uh, their spears here, trying to uh, get into the side of the Quinta Macedonica. And instead, we're going to see some swords now blocking them off. Some, uh, some more heavy spears coming in for uh, Persia here. So we've got some, um, some cab as well, dotted about waiting. Here we go, we'll see how this, guy, how this unit does have these swords too. I haven't seen them yet really in action. They've not actually been really committed. And we're going to see a cab charge actually onto the onto the spear here. I don't know how wise a move that is. I imagine, oh, and it can form square by the looks of it. So it's going to do that. 
In goes the Cav. Yeah, unfortunately, yeah, the, the Cav charge into a spear unit, into a square unit there uh, is not going to go well. Yeah, it's a speed unit that can form square. Yeah, not good. Um, got another Cav charge that went straight through the middle here. That got forced back, though. I guess the Cav in the rear lines, the spears here were just a, a little bit too much of a deterrent. Axe is here starting a wave of Roma. This is not good. But yeah, these Gund Shahan Shah here only losing 20 odd men, and they're going to route this axe unit very easily. Cab now engaged on the flanks over here with the support of infantry for both sides. The Klibanari getting absolutely pelted by missiles. could do with those trenches to try and entrap this uh, Persian cav right now with the Romans like they did in history. A long, long fight. The uh, Romans setting in more and more swords here as their infantry routes. Got a cav charge over here into axes, which seems like it's making some sort of progress. The Vex, uh, Vex Latayo here, this cav unit. It's actually doing some damage. Yeah, you can see it losing decisively, being attacked in the rear. I don't know if they are really being attacked in the rear, but apparently so. And you can see here now, look at this. Rome pushing forward, seeing an opportunity of these Numenes in Victorum. They're pushing on. They're going to try and take on the uh, the Dalamites here. And they are able to outflank these uh, axes, potentially. And we've got Slingers as well routing. I think they've just been in melee, so that's why they've routed. This line over here is slowly being beaten back. The Armenians are dying now. But so are the, um, the swords that they're fighting. Like they're both losing. Both sides are losing as the war goes. It just seems like it's such a slog. Such huge units. Such a slog. Like DEI, it's going to come down to morale, I think, more than uh, sort of like actually killing units. Uh, numbers wise, uh, it's 13,000. Uh, against 12,000 Romans. I'm seeing a lot of wavering. Uh, a lo oh, there's actually a massive break on that flank there for Rome. Three act units breaking. Probably the fourth one going soon. The, yeah, these Gund Shah and Shah here are starting to kill them off. You can see the um, Romans are inflicting some damage themselves, killing some of these Dalamites. If they kill that unit in particular, they can then get in behind, do some rear charges. And I think the Roman players seen this. You can see some um, Saracen equites now coming forward here. So I presume some like allied gasser, gasser sids or something like that. They had those, uh, which are basically Saracens. Gassanids, I think they're called, something like that. Gassanids. Here we go, looks like we're going to see that rear charge now by the Cav. This could make a big difference. And you think like, oh, killing like a thousand, like a thousand man difference is big. It's not, it's only three men, uh, three units. So if you can, with a Cav unit, get into rear, rear lines like this, start to affect, uh, affect the morale of the units, do some real damage. Like these um, Saracens here, they could maybe try and get out and then try and uh, do another secondary charge. There's a gap there in that line. They could definitely just sneak through there. Uh, Archers working overtime right now. These Sagittari trying to just hit as much as they can. Swords here trying to hold the line. Keep fighting, men of Rome. Hold back the Persians. The Persians are probably doing like some sort of say, like motivating their men on as well. I mean, this spear could break through. I don't know why it hasn't. Basically, it is through the gap. It's just sort of standing here at the moment. This is not looking good. We've got Roman Cav here having to hold the line. Um, so Optimatoi here are starting to die. We've got uh, Klibinari also dying. 
but holding the line. Kind of hard to tell the difference between Roman and Persian cab. They're both so heavily armored. And yeah, you can see here, General's actually managed to break on through a Mars band here. Uh, Mars band general here has managed to break through. We might be able to see uh, one of the generals from Rome go into commit. I mean, the difference will be that they have spear support to the Persians, but there are javis here available and um, axes, which still have a lot of javis. We can maybe use those. The men are broken and running for their lives. Men are broken and running for their lives is not good. Lanciari here holding on, doing some decent work. Archers still firing him with their volleys. Axe slash and kill them all, boys. Axe slash and kill them all. Lanciari here though. I'll hold the line for a while. They're elites. But Spears here actually wavering. Oh gosh. What are these? Are these are Lanciari Signores. They're wavering. Okay, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe the elites will break. They're breaking down the line here against the Dalamites. This is not good. Not good at all. There you go, they are starting to uh, start a route. There are still plenty of Romans holding this line. Still plenty of Romans. Oh, this is not good, actually. A Roman started to waver in a lot of spots there. Yeah, a lot of spots are starting to waver. The Armenian spears, too much for them. Too much. It's also not looking good on this side here either. The Roman flank started to crumple, that's for sure. I've got an Armenian spear that's starting to flank around, trying to affect the rear lines of these Quinta Macedonica. Hold, men of the fifth! Hold! It's still really healthy, to be fair. Granted, they are like untouched. It's a really, yeah, good neck. Just whether they can stay like that. Because their infantry, so, like, comrades are not having a good time. The sword's over here trying to hold back Cav. There's a general in here, actually. We could, we could kill a couple of generals. That might help. This general over here is not looking good. 71. He's losing to the Comets here. I don't know how he's... Well, he's not winning, apparently. Numbers-wise, I'd say otherwise. I think he's trying to pull out a combat. He's pulling through the combat. That's not a good idea. That could affect the uh, morale if that general gets killed off. Um, but yeah, big win over here for the Romans. They managed to break through the lines here with the support of their cav. And they have now they, yeah, made a big hole in the middle here. Now can they start to think about flanking that? Axes as well doing the same here. Just working down the line. Now they've broken through one spot, they can just carry on doing it down the line. Kill them all! Kill every last one of these damn Persians. Send them packing. Yeah, the center's looking very good for Rome, but the flanks are looking pretty good for Persia right now. A general has died. And yeah, there's that general over here. He has been broken. We've got the, uh, the comments here trying to fall back. Trying to get out of this combat with Spears is probably a wise idea. Our men return to the fight. 
But yeah, we'll see how it goes. Rome is not lo uh, not looking so good now. Balance power is not with them. 8,000 against 10,000. They have killed a general, so it might not be long until we just see a mass out by the Persians in the center here. And it's starting to happen. Like down this line, you can see the axes starting to break. But Rome is also not looking so great. They've got Cav as well holding their front lines now. And you can see, well, also says Persia, actually. They've got Cav in here. Yeah, more and more like axes being routed. These Dalamites just not holding. Be pushed aside as the spears win their fights. Well, Cav over here as well being overpowered by the Roman Cav. And small spears going in. It's looking, it's looking good for Rome in the center, that is for sure. Anciari Signori's are about to wave and break though. A elite spear unit. Laying down the side. All I can say. It's not looking good. Yeah, you can see here, Persia's smashed through this line here on this right-hand side. They're starting to break the swords here. They'll eventually get the Quinta Macedonica, which is starting to fail a little bit. Well, they're starting to fall, not fail necessarily. Yeah, they'll just get a rear charge here in a moment with the uh, Persians. Once they've just pushed aside this general and crossbows. Yeah, I think we're about to see it, that rear charge take place very shortly. And then go the Persians. Cut them down, every last one of these damn Romans. Claiming the desert is their own. Uh, enemy general's dead. Okay, I'm going to check out. Oh, it's spawned over here. Okay, that's what I expected to die. Yeah, literally only a couple of cav. I've had to hit the back of that spear in there. And it's routed just like that. That's not helped with the general obviously being killed. But the cav's now in the back lines here with the spears. And I think we're about to see a bit of a mash out here by this Roman right. With the loss of a general and then a rear charge, yeah. These, uh, these spears are held in for so long. The famous fifth. They're starting to die. If they get this other, if they could get this other general, that'd be huge, but I don't think they can. And the sense is still looking good for Rome right now. They're still pushing on quite nicely. Still pushing back uh, horse archers. It looks like now finally the left is also starting to crumple. The uh, cav charge getting through there. We've got stuff that go berserk. I didn't realize Furzan go berserk a caveat that goes berserk is kind of wild that is for sure the men are broken and are fleeing i don't know where the uh, magister militum is over here oh here he is belisarius is still alive but just 55 of his bodyguard remain Lanciaris and Yoris here doing their best, holding on against innumerable odds. In the back, you can see all the uh, Persian cavs starting to rampage around, just clearing off crossbows and things like that. Yeah, numbers now very much stacked in favor of the Persians. Nearly 9,000 against, uh, it looks like f about 5,000, just under 5,000. They're dropping quickly at these Romans as they start to row. The enemy have rallied their units. But yeah, I think we um, basically came to the conclusion with this battle that just doing like tier two, tier as like as it's not actually that balanced in age of um, just in because they match up really well. And the Roman infantry, like you expect Roman to have better infantry, and we just did not give any Roman its better stuff. Um, I thought it was also to do a period. It's not really at all to do a period. Some of the units are like early and late, which is why I guess 
it, it might be um, like periods slightly evolved but yeah we just didn't really like give bro many of his great assets just had the, like the spears and like some okay swords but not like anything insane um, so they couldn't really like um, yeah bring their, their best like their best options uh, which would really make this battle maybe a little bit more fair for the Romans because the uh, Armenian spears we were realizing we're beating our like axes hand over fist and they should, like usually in like Attila and just generally in Total War spears get beaten by most stuff like axes and swords instead they were beating our axes and swords kind of crazy I feel like there's a little bit of an encircling going on here by the Romans. They've still managed to sort of encircle some of these Persians. There's a lot of wavering as Kututoy and Axis over here as well. So how long that encirclement will last, I do not know. Yeah, we're seeing also, yeah, like the, the Persian right now just des descend onto the, what remains of the Roman center. And they should just clean this up pretty easily now. I'm actually just going to fast forward while we uh, while we kind of wait on the uh, the result to happen. But yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this battle. It's certainly been a fun one. Uh, it's nice to check out, like I said, just a different a different mod uh, and see what's going on. Um, and just, yeah, see whether... I don't know. Just, uh, yeah, see what's going on with it. Uh, Age of Justinian is a fun mod. We have, I haven't showed it off in ages. I think I've done, like, another historical battle on it a long, long time ago. Um, but yeah, and it was like just a massive like 4v4. We had like, yeah, 300 man units. So you ended up with like 20k men on the battlefield on both sides. It's like a 40k man battle. It's huge. Um, that is the great thing with this mod. You can get like just, yeah, the scale of the battles is like incomparable to anything else. Um, but yeah, it, it certainly does also make it a bit of a grind fest. Very DEI sort of, um, like I was saying, like I like vibes it gives me um, just because it's not down to killing the men. It's just like, you just gotta route them and just get the uh, like the rear charges and just flank around. You do a lot of damage. I mean, we're seeing yeah these numerous Invictorum here. They'll uh, flank around. That might in fact uh, like waver these gun Shah and Shah here, which by the way overpowered. These guys are nasty and um, they're just were ripping through everything. Maybe we'd get killed off by like our tier three like infantry if we brought any, but uh, yeah we didn't. So. Yeah, they, they didn't um, have any sort of real competition in the battlefield. There you go, Roman Cav going in. Trying to deal with these good Shah and Shah here, actually causing them to lose. A rare sight seeing this sword infantry unit lose the battle. Yeah, still managed to route the Lanciares and Yores because the uh, Roman, so the Persian Cav rear charged these Lanciari. The there you go, the left's broken favor. for the Romans. Shattered. Beyond repair. And it's now just, yeah, this is whether the uh, center holds on or whether it breaks. I mean, it's probably going to break. Army losses will come into effect, you'd have thought, fairly soon. There's 2,600 Romans left against 8,400 uh, Persians. Yeah, not looking good. The general there breaks. Uh, he probably will get slain in a second. Or at least he should be as he runs away. And then, yeah, it's just probably just a mop up with these last couple of units here. But yeah, there you go. The Battle of Dara going against history. We are going to see a Persian victory instead of a uh, instead of a uh, Roman one, which is a shame. It's a great shame. And um, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a great shame. But yeah, I think if we were to do another like uh, Age of Just Anyone battle, definitely would do like um, like all different various tiers, like tier one, tier two, tier three, just so maybe the Persians had weaker infantry but better cav, like we usually go for. But we went for just all the same tier. I didn't think the Dalamites would, to be honest, would be able to beat the Roman spears and uh, infantry, but there you go, they could. Um, and also the uh, Armenian spears as well. I gave like the uh, spears, so many spears to the Persians, so they couldn't really have much pushing power. Didn't matter, they still managed to push with them. And they're actually a pretty solid unit. Yeah, as you can see here, just the final few units. Just need to get routed and killed off. And uh, yeah, we'll have a quick look at the end results when we get there. <laughs> Roman units actually returning. Lanciari Senores rallying. But they couldn't rally earlier. They didn't manage to hold earlier, which is a shame. There's elite spears. Routing always instantly again. That's cowardly. Come on there. And then, yeah, it just I think it's just waiting on these last few units to route. And like the healthy ones anyway, like these numerators in Victorum, and they've got an axe here as well, numerators Isorum. Uh, if they've wrapped both of those, then uh, I imagine then everything else might just mass route again. Because uh, they're the only two units I think that are relatively healthy, you could say. 
and these go spears by the way they get out swords it's kind of cool so they do become a sword unit in that sense they're a dual wielding spear and sword There you go, already start a waiver. We just wait on this final sort of, and there you go, archers as well. Syrian archers firing and just making sure these guys stay broken. I like it. Yeah, there you go, should be just a mass route in a second here. I thought, yeah, there you go, mass route takes place. And yeah, that is Rome defeated here today. There's these crossbows I need to finally give in. Not worth it. Go back to Constantinople. Run, flee for your lives. Oh, and there you go, mass routed. And there you go, that is a victory for the Persians. I don't know if it's a close one, might be decisive to be honest. Um, they didn't like take too many losses. Like, look at this army here, pretty much intact to be honest. But yeah, this is from Donald Trump's perspective or Bane. Um, we got some, I mean, there are going to be huge kills in this one because the units are huge. We've got 475 kills, spears are two, th uh, two three, four. 469, 340 kills with his um, swords here. The Dalamite's getting 248 kills. Um, and then, yeah, like Slinger's getting 136, 152 kills. Cav, 555, 572. Very, very good kills there. Then you have Cyrus playing as the um, the second Persian army. 373 kills with his general before he fell. Um, his One of his swords getting 303 kills. His axe is 298. Uh, Archer's here, 168 kills. Um, 424 kills with one of his cav. Then we have Dost still playing as the final Persian army. 405 kills with his um, cav here. We've got 184 uh, kills here with the spears. Uh, his uh, Dalamite so axe is getting 348 kills. 203, 205. And then his um, Javi is getting 193 kills in his cav. 285 kills. 432 Six, uh, sorry, 600. 365 kills, not 600, not yet. And then it was me playing as one of the, uh, I was playing as the Roman right. I got absolutely ri railed by um, the Persians. They just absolutely, like, just destroyed me. 134 kills with one of the Clibinari, but nothing else really got triple figures at all. Macedonica, though they held, didn't get any kills. I was kind of ashamed to see. Uh, Ike playing as, like, the central Roman army. Actually did a lot of work breaking through. 228 kills with one of his uh, spears here. Uh, 147 with another uh, Lanciari uh, Senores. His um, swords, 173 kills. His axes, 132 kills. His cav, getting um, not many kills. Oh, actually, this one got 275. His archers, 133. And we have Bulk playing as the final uh, Roman army on the left. 235 kills with Scooter Toy. 229 with the Lanciari here. And then uh, 123 with the uh, crossbows, 109 with the Siloy, 291 with his Clibinari. His Saracen Cav getting 301 kills is pretty solid as well. But there you go, guys. That is today's battle. I hope you did enjoy. If you did, do remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here, and a comment to show your support. But yeah, Rome has lost. His history has been changed as Dara has now fallen to the Persians. But until next time, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.